Anybody wants to share any addictions they have? That was my question. No? Nobody has any addiction? Everybody is good? Does breathing count? Breathing? <laughs> <laughs> breathing is your addiction. Amazing. Addiction that is good for us is good for you, right? <laughs> so keep having that breathing addiction. But don't inhale something else. <laughs> no, I don't do that as often anymore. <laughs> Just air. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I thought more people will join and share their addictions of and I'll talk about it. Um, but Shankaracharya gave two methods for dealing with addiction, basically. First is um, developing a um, opposite view or opposing view of that thing and finding out, out about some defects in that particular habit that you have. For example, if somebody has to lose a weight and they have a habit of eating, you know, fried food or something. So he said, try to take out the mistakes in that fried food and write it down and contemplate on it. For example, maybe you can research about the ingredient, what it, uh, how it affects the body, things like that. So it's about developing an opposing view. And um, he also said the more we control our tongue, tongue is one sensory uh, um, organ that we have, which has a dual function like uh, organ of speech and for eating right cravings so he said that if you can control your tongue you can control all other senses also uh you because we not only eat through our mouth we eat through our eyes and ears too right some people can have addiction of seeing the news and what's happening latest in some social media or some people may have addiction of hearing gossip or hearing such things <laughs> So everything can be controlled if you control the tongue. And it also aligns with that theme of throat chakra, Vishuddhi chakra. So in today's class, we'll focus on um, our throat chakra. So yeah, we'll focus on our Vishuddhi chakra in our class today. And uh, even during the posture, we are going to be mindful of our position of our tongue. Okay. And where it's touching the upper palate. So normal resting position of the tongue is just behind the um, upper set of teeth if you're thinking too much about something or having some kind of stress or constant thought in your mouth like a uh, mind then the tongue is very tightly held up and then if you're mindful of the position of your tongue while you're thinking too much or doing something very intently you know just relax your tongue a bit and see your mind just gets calm so we'll practice that during our uh, breath session and also during the postures okay everybody okay Ready for the session? So hand in Dhyan Mudra and gently closing your eyes. First be mindful of the position of your body, just the position of your legs. Inhale and exhale and feel the weight of your body on the ground. Spine comfortably erect. Make sure you're not leaning forward or backward or sideways. Just comfortably erect, chin parallel to the floor. Jaws unclenched, tongue very lightly touching the upper palate, behind the upper set of teeth. And relax your facial muscles. Consci consciously feel that your facial muscles are all dropping down. And gaze loosely in front of your closed eyes. Don't clench your eyes as well, so just relax it and focus on your nostril breathing. Feel the temperature and sensation of in-breath and out-breath. And you know how the movement of the tummy coordinates with inhale and exhale. Initially, we have to put an effort Breathe out, pull the tummy in, and then breathe in with the full tummy expansion. So that your chest doesn't move. It's only your tummy that's moving in and out. And that promotes deep diaphragmatic breathing. If you'd like to develop more awareness, you can put your right hand on tummy and left hand on the chest and feel the movement. So there should be practically no movement left hand and only the right hand goes in and out
Pulling that tummy in is a crucial step to establish that rhythm. Make your breath a little longer and deeper without putting effort or making a sound. Just very subtle breath. Still feeling the temperature and sensation of air entry and exit. Few more deep breaths, one more minute, just to center ourselves. Now shift your awareness to the tip of your tongue, wherever it is resting. You don't have to change the position, just be aware. If that increases your salivation, that's fine too. Just moment to moment awareness at the tip of the tongue. Just feel the contact point. And see if you can feel some kind of sensation at the contact point of the tongue and the upper palate. Any sensation happening there? Now bring your attention back to your nostril breath and start the alternate nostril breathing. Again, without any sound, without any force, smooth and gentle. Just let the breathing happen naturally. You're just alternating it. Mindful of the direction of the stomach. When you exhale through a single nostril, the tummy should still go in. I'll do it for one more minute. Enjoy your breath and make it meditative. Connect within, connect with your breath. Thirty more seconds. Feel your breath. 
feel the sensation and also the coolness and the warmth. You can finish off the cycle by exhaling through the left and focus on your tongue again, tip of the tongue. And see if you can feel any subtle vibration or sensation at the contact point of the tongue and the palate. It's, it's very subtle sensation. See if you can catch that. Take a deep breath in and out and start the Kapal Bhati now, the contraction of the tummy. Choose your speed, one, two, or three. Focus either on your tummy or on your breath. Choose one spot. See wherever your attention is established, stay there. Focus within. You can take a break if you're tired or you lose that breath energy and start the cycle again. You can also count the number of contractions you need to, uh, you can take before you need to take a break. We'll do it for one more minute. Keep going, one point focus. And finish off your kapal bhati. Just stay in silence. Focus back on your tongue. Feeling your tongue again, the tip of the tongue. Make sure it's very gently touching the upper palate. Inhale and exhale deep and gently open your eyes with a nice smile. Mind should already be relaxed and ready for the postures. Let's begin. Bhastrika, get some movement in the body. Gentle, loose fist here and 20 counts of inhale and exhale faster. Inhale, exhale. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Close your eyes, palm facing up. Feel the energy in the shoulder, neck, head region. Inhale and exhale deep. Feel your nostrils opening up, building up that heat energy for a practice. One deep breath in and out again. And let's do another set of 20. Okay. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Just close your eyes again. Relax your shoulders. Inhale and exhale, two deep breaths. Okay, relax your legs, hand in the Namaskar Mudra here. And we'll just do some neck and shoulder moves. So inhale, look up, squeeze your shoulder blade and fingers back. Exhale down, round your back, sitting cat and cow. Okay, inhale up, squeeze everything behind. Exhale, expand your everything behind. So spread your shoulder blades apart. Again, inhale, squeeze. 
Exhale down. Two more times. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Relax your legs. Right leg in front of the left. Inhale, straighten your spine. Be mindful of the tongue again. Exhale all the way down. See, you can go if you can go all the way down. Putting your elbows down also. And focus on your tongue, tip of the tongue. And breathe in deep for three rounds. Inhale and exhale. Three. Two. And one gently come up. Just twist your body to one side. Inhale. Again, focus on your tongue. And go down and hold and breathe. Inhale and exhale for three, two, and one. Gently come up. Focus back on the tip of your tongue. Twist on the other side and go down on the other side. And hold. See how far can you go. Three, two, one. Gently relax. Now put your left leg in front of the right, okay? We'll do the same drill. Inhale up, center. And then forward bend by exhaling and holding. Focus on the tip of your tongue for three deep breaths. Two. And one. Inhale up. Twist on one side and go down on this side. Hold. Keep focusing on the tip of your tongue. Three, two, one. Gently come up. When you're coming up, I want you to come up as a unit, not like break your posture. Don't break your posture. So don't go like this and then come up, okay? So when you're coming up, I want you to come up straight up. All right? So twist on the other side and then down. Hold. Three, Two, one. Gently come up and then hands on the side. Extend your legs out. Just shake your legs a bit. Move it from side to side. And then do ankle up and down. Inhale and exhale with one movement, one breath. Stretch all the muscles in the front of your ankle and also the back, calf muscles. Adjust your hands so that your spine is relatively straight. You're not leaning back too much. Inhale and exhale. And then move round and round. Five times in one direction, five times the other direction. Keep breathing. Bend your right knee and just get it closer. Inhale away, exhale close. Okay, two, three, four, and five. Hold. Point toes pointing towards your face. Hold this. Don't strain your shoulders. Focus back on your tongue and see how it is placed. Five, four, three, two, and gently release. The other side. First two. Some dynamic movement, inhale and exhale. And then now extend and hold, toes pointing towards your face. Relax your shoulders, close your eyes and focus back on the tip of the tongue. Relax, butterfly. You can also focus back on your tongue while doing the butterfly for five deep breaths. And see, you can focus on something which is not moving, yet your body is moving. So in life, so many things are going around us all the time, right? But can we just focus on one thing within us? This is the practice on your mat. And this you have to practice outside mat. If something is bothering you, disturbing you, or somebody's behavior is bothering you, Focus within, either on your breath or the tongue. All the techniques that you learn, use it practically, okay? Two more deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. You're not holding up your shoulders. <clears throat> and 
and then knees together left leg goes in like this way and the right leg goes on top hug your right knee with the left elbow okay this way straighten your spine straighten your spine and look back twist back and see how far can you go keep twisting your body back till you reach your limit and hold and breathe three two one gently release and now the right leg goes in and left on top spine has to be straight don't compromise don't go twisted like this okay straight then whatever you can hug the left knee with the right elbow and then twist back and breathe three two and one gently release let's go into marjriyasan if you can switch on your cameras others it's good interactive session see if you're comfortable doing that inhale look up exhale down chin to the chest inhale look up exhale chin to the chest inhale look up exhale down and come back to neutral position take your right leg parallel to the floor and left hand parallel to the floor hold this position and focus back on your tongue see if it's requiring a lot of mental energy or effort see if you can do both simultaneously 3 2 one little dynamic elbow to the knee don't drop down up and down up down very good up down up and down the other side first we'll hold it steady left leg and right hand parallel to the floor and focus on your tongue for 5 4 3 try to keep steady 2 one dynamic movement knee to the elbow one two Three, four, and five. Let's go into Balasan, child's pose, and then just relax. Focus back on your tongue as you relax. And see if you can feel any kind of vibration or sensation. at the tip of the tongue be with that feeling gently come back to the cat position tuck your toes and go into parvatasan and pedal inhale and exhale Now lift your right leg up to your three point of contact and hold that position. Hold, focus back on your tongue. Three, two, one. Some dynamic movement. So knee in between two elbows. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, and down. So still in the Parvatasan position. Just pedal a bit more. If your hand or wrist is getting tired, you can take a break. Just sit in Vajrasana. Relax your shoulders. Whenever you're ready, you can do the left side. Left leg up. Hold for three counts and focus on your tongue. Three, two, one. Dynamic movement. One, up. Two, and inhale. Exhale. 3 4 One more time. 5 and down. Sit in Vajrasana, relax your wrist, relax your shoulder. Just move your shoulder like this, okay? 2 Chin parallel to the floor. Yes, don't look down. 5 6 Just stretch your triceps a bit. 
hold your elbow and then just twist slightly and then the other side and then gently move your shoulder sideways just to relax it gave it a lot of force and then from here come to a standing position everybody we'll do some balance exercises and then go down in shavasana after just center yourself close your eyes feel the weight of your body on your both right and left foot feel the pressure points feel your knees feel your thighs feel your tummy going in and out feel your heart center see if you can feel your heart beat that's to make the heart beat faster what we just did feel your throat area and feel your tongue relax all your facial muscles gently open your eyes and lift your right leg up and make it a four this way tummy tucked in hand in namaskar position modified utkatasan modified chair pose we'll just try to sit as if you're sitting on a chair and see if you can do that just hold it steady doesn't matter how deep you go holding steady is more important focus on the tip of your tongue again you're not leaving a tongue today <laughs> Three, two, one. Gently release. Shake it off. Very good. The other side. Get your balance first in this position, and then start sitting down to whatever depth you want. How comfortable you are. Steady, steady. Be steady. Three, two. One. Gently release. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Good. Focusing on the tip of your tongue. First, focus there, and then lift. Keep lifting your right leg up, 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 up. Grab it. Okay, and then try to lift it further up as much as possible. Really close to your chest. See if you can do that. Hold your left knee slightly bent. Okay. Don't lock it. Don't go into hyperextension. Hold that position. Be careful. You can do with the help of the wall or a furniture too. Three, two, one. Gently release. Very good. Good try. The other side. Focusing on the tongue. Keep lifting. Keep lifting. See how difficult it is to focus at two spot at the same time. Sometimes life demands two things at the same time, right? Can we do that? Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And gently release. Shake it off. Let's do two sets of Surya Namaskar. Okay. That means four half cycle, four times twelve. Okay. Let's begin. Inhale. Exhale. Right leg back. Parvatasan. Plank pose. Ashtang Namaskar, Bhujangasan, Parvatasan, right leg again in front, Adhastasana, both legs together, stand up, rise up, inhale and exhale. So one half cycle, second half, first round, this time the left leg goes back and you know what to do, keep going at your own pace.
Once you have done, just stand in Shakil Tadasana. Observe your breath. Observe the changes within your body. Just inhale and exhale and feel your breath. Feel your heart center, heartbeat has gone up. Feel your throat center and see if you can feel the breath within that throat center. Feel the tip of your tongue. Now stick your legs together really close, like stuck to each other, hand in namaskar position. We'll go into tippy toes, okay? So inhale, go up, and keep going up, 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 as far as you can go, hold that position. Inhale and exhale. Don't lock your knees, keep it slightly bent. Feel the pressure under your toes. And then from here, drop down, drop down gently and come to full sitting on your toes. Hold this position. Knees together. Knees together, yes. And then gradually straighten your body. Okay, see if you can straighten your body. You can put your hands on the thighs, hold this position. And just feel the tip of your tongue. Still balancing. Do whatever you can. That's okay. Good. Spread your knees, put your hands in between and take your right leg out. This is one of my favorite poses because I see a eight year old and he calls it a Spider-Man pose. <laughs> and then plant your hand this way and then take your right hand above the head and stretch the upper part of your body and hold this position. Toes pointing up, don't drop your toes. Inhale and exhale, three, two, one. Gently come back and switch sides. Inhale and exhale. Three. Keep stretching your hand further away. Two. And one. Gently relax. Let's lie down. And doing, do the cool down things. So extend your leg. And then lift your right leg up. Move your ankle up and down. The right one. Just feeling your calf muscles, your quadriceps, everything. Getting good circulation. And then bend your right knee towards your chest and hold. Hold for three deep breaths. The left knee is tight on the ground. Three, two, and one. Gently release. Lift your left leg up and move your ankle up and down. And then bend your left knee towards the chest as much as possible. Deep stretch. Press down your right knee on the ground. Don't let it lift up. Hold that position. Three, two, one. Gently release. Bend both the hips and knees. Move your knees from side to side. Hand under the head. And just do a little dynamic movement of the knees. Extend both legs out and hands above head. Stretch your body in opposite direction. A quick relaxation technique. Tighten your body completely. Pull your belly button in. Relax with the ha sound. Two more times. Tighten your body in opposite direction. Tighten everything, everything towards the ground. And release. One last time. Inhale, tighten. Release. 
Go into a final pose of Shavasana and feel your belly breathing. Just surrender to the mat. Relax everything on the ground. Don't hold any body part tight. Focus within at the level of your tummy. Feel the movement of your stomach up and down, up and down. Repeat your sankalp, the goal of your practice for coming today, mentally three times. This is a promise given to your own breath. It always fructifies. Take a deep breath in and out, expand your tummy. And now bring your awareness to your right hand thumb. First finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, palm, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, right shoulder, right side of the chest, going down the waist, right hip, thigh, knee, shin bone, ankle, entire right foot. Bring your awareness to the left hand thumb, first finger, Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, palm, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, left shoulder, left side of the chest, going down the waist, left hip, thigh, knee, shin bone, ankle, entire left foot. Say thank you to your legs for taking all the weight today. Inhale and exhale. Say thank you to all the internal organs for being with you, giving you the energy. Say thank you to your heart and lungs. Feel the tip of the tongue again. See if you can feel the vibrations at any point. The sensation vibration, whatever you're feeling. And promise yourself that you'll use this sensory organ very judiciously. It is not only an organ of perception, but it's also an organ of action through speech. It has a dual function. It is a very potent organ. It can make or break your life. It can make or break relationships. It can make or break career. It can either shape your life or destroy your life. It is so important. Be mindful of the use of tongue from today. Bring attention to you. Right cheek, nose, left cheek, right eye, left eye, forehead, top of the head, back of the head touching the mat, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, entire back, buttocks, thighs, right calf, left calf, right heel, left heel. Feel the entire back body simultaneously. And feel the weight of your body on the ground. Feel it getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Gently wiggle your toes and your fingers and turn to your right side, making a pillow out of your right arm. Feel your breath at the tummy level. Now very gently come to a sitting position. 
hand in the heart center and repeat this mentally i thank myself for coming here today to invest some time for my body and my mind i promise myself to make self care the number one goal of my life take a deep breath and finish with one om oh rub your hands together generate some heat then gently press your eyes and see the depth within and say everything is within me rub your face touch each and every part of your body and say thank you to your own self for showing up here today and thank you so much i'll see you next time <laughs>